Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another NBA 2K17 Pro Am game going against the Globo Jim Kings knocking down the three-pointer to start things off for them. You guys saw their record very nice. Elite three sponsorship from Gatorade as Josh is swooping and scoring inside early on. So I got a lineup update to go through for this video. A couple of things change. Not necessarily the players that are playing in the game, but the my players that are, we are using in the game. We still have that death lineup that i've been calling it lately of myself josh walsh michael and josh but we'll start off with me i've been using the defensive stopper slash lockdown defender the past couple of videos we brought back the playmaking point guard trying to make moves out here trying to set up our teammates and then walsh who used to use his playmaking small forward created a lockdown defender at the small forward position as we get the buzzer beater to end the first quarter on a very questionable layup we'll take it as we go inside to brian he dunks it home right there good start to the offense and mainly to our assist number which is getting sky high seven and now eight near the start of the second quarter we're just dishing diamond find the open man almost every single time as this man pulls up at three so why should i kind of swap positions i went from defender to playmaker he went from playmaker to lockdown defender as brian pulls a questionable three even my brian's a glass cleaner i don't really know what he's doing right there and that wasn't bad enough on the other end watch brian inside the paint give up a dunk eventually so yeah that wasn't really too good of a sequence i mean sometimes when you want to mess around it's all good but um that was not a good sequence for the team as they go inside and get a mean poster slam and finally josh i believe i don't even know what character josh was using man we have a nice joke because josh has literally every single mod player you can think of he has a shot creator he has a sharpshooter he has a slasher he has a stretch big a center this man if there's a my player out there josh has it he even has like a, a point forward and all that i don't even know why so i don't know what character josh was using in this video you guys can maybe decipher it for yourselves i want to think it was the shock creator but i have no ideas this guy pulled up a shot when we were right there he kind of just disrespected us and said you're too tiny and he made it so kudos to him as michael gets the and one inside early on this game was I mean, we started down 8-0, but ever since we came back from that, it's just been, you know, a lot of offense going on, a lot of dunking all over the place, a lot of three-pointers, get people getting open, and I don't know if it's good offense or bad defense, whatever, that could not be good offense, or good defense, because Josh got wide open inside, we cut, we find Brian, and one finish, so these guys definitely, you know, not too good on the defensive end to start things off ourselves. Iffy, iffy, as we get beat on the boards right there. And we have 15 assists. And we try to get 16 to Michael for three. And we knock it down. Brian was wide open inside. I don't know why I didn't see him. But Michael faded away. He's a uh, stretch four. I don't know how he faded away. He made it, but he did as we put up the floater. What is the second floater we made in this game? It's kind of hard to put up floaters in this year's rec as opposed to last year's. You can see, they're just using a bunch of screens to get their guys open. But, um, I don't know, I just ended up using the folder to our advantage. As you see, Josh fumbling the pass back outside, sticking the jumper, and we are down three points. This team, once again, just like the start of the first half, got to a nice little lead, but we're starting to inch our way closer. End of the third quarter, going to the point guard at the buzzer. That was a mistake by me right there. I dodged my dude. I didn't think there was enough time for them to go to him as we get Josh wide open. That's definitely the shock creator right there. He's taking a fading jump shot. That's the shock creator and that's going to help us cut into the lead but these guys are starting to push away a little bit and it's more so with their offense than their defense. No one's turning up the defensive intensity this game. It's just all about you know who can put up more points on the board as you see they get two more that we are starting to inch closer getting an ankle breaker right there but we're not able to get away there's just too many bodies out here so we're looking looking waiting waiting trying to get inside the brian right there trying to get him if you guys watch these videos you guys know brian's always throwing it down unfortunately though we get called for an offensive three taking the corner three that's a miss but look at brian inside with the put back that's gonna give us a three point lead now the game is tied near the end of the shot clock up from mid misses the shot to give us the lead but look at walsh crashing the offensive glass gonna reset the offense looking back inside no outside and eventually you know now there's 11 seconds left in the shot clock we're just fumbling to find something and we're just trying to get the best shot possible right here and we do get it to josh but 
Josh with the shot creator misses the fading jump shot. That's the shot to take right there. But once again, we get the offensive rebound. And look at that clock. We started possession with over a minute to go. Now there's 36 seconds left and a chance to go two for one right here. And we might not even do that. We're just killing the shot clock once again. We had a chance, but you know, you got to go for the best shot possible as we go to Josh. Now there's only four seconds left. We got to put something up to try to take the lead. Great defense by them. Better offense though. Reverse layup from Michael. What an accurate Acrobatic finish and now we have the lead and now we have 12 seconds to hold on to this one They're trying to move the ball around. He saw they initially tried to set screens now They're frankly passing the ball like we were even the centers passing out of a good look and they call a timeout with 4.4 seconds left They need the two to go inside clock down and a foul on Brian It is a reaching foul. It's not a shooting foul not in the bonus So they're gonna get the ball back sideline 2.6 seconds left gotta protect that pain while well, everybody's swarming on defense man why Wide open gets the ball and beats the buzzer and we're going to overtime I don't know what happened on defense right there we were swarming the place and I don't know someone got wide open right there and that was a missed tip and now here we are we find ourselves in overtime scrappy game where they were leading for most of it. We got ourselves a touch at the end. A little bit of a lucky break. We got two offensive rebounds and eventually, you know, put in by Michael who's open for three but misses the three right there. We could have definitely used that one right there. And then eventually, you know, they just found a way to keep on scrapping. And once again, the name of the game was all about offense as Brian's able to draw a foul right there. He goes to the free throw line. He ends up making both and Michael for three misses again. Fighting on the glass. You see Walsh inside with that lockdown defender. He's also good at crashing the glass with that guy. There's a little bit of everything for three. Not able to get it to go. That was four to lead. But once again, crashing the glass. This time it's Brian looking for Josh. This four to lead. Misses as well. And they finally get themselves a defensive rebound. Pushing the ball in transition. Wide open. Three is off. They can't even find the bucket. All of a sudden, all the open shots are ice cold as we're going to the line. A foul puts them in the bonus and us a chance to tie the game up with two crucial free throws. Our free throw is at an 85 and you guys see we get a perfect release on the first one. The second one also perfect. Clutch at the line. 32 seconds left. They do have a chance to go two for one. Looking to push the ball ahead. Open man for a dunk. But do you know how they got open? Let's check the replay to watch my man Walsh get tackled by the ref. Oh man, if anybody plays this game they know how annoying those referees are i don't know why 2k let that happen you can just bump into referees now here we are down two brian fumbles loses the ball it's a turnover shot clock turned off we have to foul or get a turnover preferably the turnover that's not happening so walsh eventually comes in they're not even in the bonus so we gotta do this one more time and do it quickly this time josh comes in Preferably one out of two missed free throws. Very preferably both missed free throws would help us. He makes the first one calm and cool. Second free throw is up and it's down. And it's a two possession game. We call a timeout. Ten seconds left. Don't need the three, but definitely need a shot as quickly as possible. Inbound going to us. Open pulling and missing. And that should all but solidify the game. A foul by Walsh inside. And that wasn't even a three. I was trying to take the three. Ended up taking a two as we go to Josh after they make both their free throws. Desperation heave is off at the buzzer. Didn't even matter whether that went or not. And we end up losing in OT. Good game to these guys. They play hard. You know, both teams, like I said, it was a little bit of a iffy game defensively. But at the end of the day, they got the victory. They scrapped a little bit harder. So, I'll uh, leave on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more NBA 2K17 Pro Am gameplays. And I'll catch you guys next time where hopefully we are on the right end of things.